Well, have you heard this mo as you've heard this morning, these are real people whose lives have been affected by gun violence, um, and it's something that no one can ignore. Unfortunately, we've got a Congress that has for far too long ignored these problems. And I want to make it clear that what we're trying to do here is we're trying to take guns out of the hands of people who should not have them. This is not an attack on the Second Amendment. In fact, I support the Second Amendment. This message is not about taking guns away from law-abiding citizens. We are asking Congress to take two critical steps that, if responsibly implemented, will save lives in this community, in this state, and throughout this country. First, we're asking that background check system should, saying that the background check system should contain all the records of those prohibited by law from purchasing guns, including felons, persons with mental health commitments, domestic abusers, and drug abusers. Millions of those records are missing from the federal data bank. The Virginia Tech shooter was able to pass a background check because records of his mental illness had never been submitted to the database. The Tucson shooter should have been listed in the database because of his admission to military officials of his drug abuse. In fact, four years after Virginia Tech, 10 states have not submitted mental health records and other states have submitted only a few. And although we now require those states, those records be submitted, Congress has failed to provide enough funding to states to support those efforts. So again, our first request is that the background check system should contain all those records that should be in that system. Second, we are asking Congress to require that every gun sold be subject to a background check. Currently, background checks are only required if the, bu if the buyer purchase a gu purchases a gun from a gun retailer or other licensed dealer. But if the seller is, is a seller who sells guns at gun shows, through ads, online, or on the street, they are not required to conduct a background check. Last week, Senator Charles Schumer of New York introduced a bill that would accomplish these two easy steps. And what we ask today is we ask each of you to contact your federal legislators to ask them to help save lives by supporting this bill. You can also stop by the truck to sign a petition in support of fixing our background system. So far, over 5,000 Wisconsinites have signed the petition. Nationally, over a quarter of a million people have signed on in support. The petition is also available online at www.fixgunschecks.org. Post it on your Facebook and rally your friends in support of this simple proposal that may save lives in Milwaukee and Wisconsin and throughout the country and prevent the grief experienced by our guests today. Thank you very much for being here.